Can I? What the hell? Turn off. Turn on. Nothing's working. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In the lovely villa we built down there. The Casa del Scripta. Yes, it's mine. It is mine. I am going to take it for myself. I have so decided. So I've built a little bit more around this area. As you can see, we have a platform over here uh, that is originally snapped to that structure over there. So the same orientation and everything. This will house my personal teleport pad and my Bronto. I'm probably not gonna keep that pattern, but for now. <laughs> you know, I never get to use this because it doesn't fit the theme at all, so for now I'm gonna take it. Uh, my creatures are here. I have Godric and Scout and uh, Sabaton, the trusty Anki. Jeez. There you go, over there. And uh, our Uteranus Terror is over there. I put down some lights, as you can see, and I've extended... Oh, wow. Over here a little bit. Whoop. This will be our Dodo Coop, where we produce our eggs for all the kibble. Which will happen in here, mostly. We have the egg collector, we have the thatch collector, we have the poop collector, we have the fertilizer making structure. All the stuff is in here. Let's close that up. Yeah. So, now... Except for the lights and a little bit of the outside, you haven't done much. We still need to do all of the interior. As you can see, there is nothing in there. <laughs> so that needs to be done. We need to put up some dividing walls. We need to put up some sections. Uh, downstairs, since it's two walls high, is going to be the crafting area that can house the, um, the, the stuff I mainly have on the Bronto. Obviously, we're not going to take this down. This will still be our mobile crafting platform. Uh, but I want to thin it out a little bit, because we are already at structural limit here. I can't put any more things down, and most of the stuff we don't need, like that. Or that. <laughs> Not even the fabricator on top, or the kibble machine, or stuff like that. I want that to be in the villa. And I do want to have all the crafting stations in the villa, not just those we need for building and decorating. So there will be an eco-mod room, there will be... What was that? Do you hear that? Okay. It's just me. <laughs> there will be a uh, blacksmithing room, so an armory basically. Uh, a processing facility where we have this and the fabricator and probably the um, infuser for the crop plots, the tech crop plots. Uh, there will be a crafting area where we have all of these, the, the CKF uh, tables, the smithy, and we will also have a vault for the resources. You know, stuff like that. A kitchen probably uh, for the kibble matrix, probably not that one. You know, there's two. There's one that looks like cauldron and that UFO up here. And while that looks funny, it just doesn't fit the theme. Uh, upgrade station, armor, no durability thing station, all of that stuff we need to go in there. Yeah, so that's what we do next. One thing I managed to do, you know, I said last episode that there's no way we can put a staircase up here. Of course we can. An S plus one. And it took a while to dawn on me. You know, the way we built this. Let's get down here. If we ever... Thank you. Uh, the way we built this, we placed this. This castles and keep foundation. Then I snapped an S plus foundation over here, right to that one. And that is a little bit lower in height, so I snapped another S plus foundation underneath, and to that one, I snapped these. So the height difference between that one and that one is exactly the height of one S plus foundation, which is the height of one S plus wall, which is the same height as one S plus ramp. So obviously, if we put a ramp down here, since this wall is snapped to the higher um, of the foundations and this roof is snapped to the lower of the foundations. This is exactly one S plus wall height difference. So yes, of course, if we put a ramp here, that fits exactly. It has to. So we got stairs. 
which means we have a roof access, which means we can park our flyers up here. Yeah! <laughs> it took a while until I actually figured that out. Uh, other than that, I put some decorative elements around. You can see the arches on top there, and obviously the um, the railings. Uh, I have the same arches going around the outside here. I put down some uh, vertical beams, some pillars. For that, I had to snap a cassettes and keep ceiling to the corner of the of the wall up there or the window, whatever, and then put the pillar in the middle, which is exactly where the corner is, and then you know pillar up and down, and then I could remove. Uh, the ceiling again, because as long as that thing is stuck in the wall, it counts as supported. Don't ask me why. Yeah, look at that. I think it looks gorgeous. All right, uh, on top here. <laughs> fly, fly, like a bird plane. Um, I had to put these triangular, the, the gable ends here, because there's no way we can put any kind of roof in there. That roof tile just doesn't exist. So I thought, if I had to do that, might as well make it a little bit bigger and uh, pretend that it was always planned to be designed like this. And then I put the turret on top. Yep, same over there. And I think I still have to put that, that gable end back in here, right? Yeah, that broke. That was me. I think I still have some of those. So I do that right now. Then I will go and put down the uh, interior walls down here and put the crafting stations up. Some of them are already in there, I have to remove those and uh, they are tentatively placed just so I know where I want things to be and then I show you once it's done what that looks like. So downstairs it's not gonna be any roleplay stuff, it's just crafting area and we try to make it look nice and uh, separated and everything will have its own place. And upstairs will be completely roleplay, that's where our bedroom will go uh, a kitchen, probably using eco mods because my kitchen is just absolutely gorgeous. I think it's in here. Uh, decorative? No. Uh, structures? Mm, that one. The cooker. And the die mixer. Yeah, we still need to get the die mixer in there somewhere. I haven't even produced one of those. Let me know what. Let me, that's, that's one of the things I forgot. I crafted everything I could find in my inventory in the S Plus station and fabricator. And in here, uh, like the fridge and, you know, those, stuff like that. So those are already somewhere down there in a chest or tentatively placed. All right, enough rambling. I'll be right back. And we are back. Looks the same as before. <laughs> so, um, I just quickly got out and tamed some dodos. Those five females over here. I have no idea if they actually laid any eggs yet. Which one is that? Thank you. Oh, that's the fertilizer thing. That's the one. Oh, look at that. 39 eggs. Uh, so, there must be dodos around here somewhere laying eggs. Probably down there. Hmm. Okay. So, we got eggs. Why did I even tame those? I could have just put the, the collector down and gotten them anyway. Okay, that's good. So those will be needed for making the eggs required for kibble. Now, if we come in here, we have walls. So let's get through this one by one. This is my most favorite room. This is the eco room. Yeah, all the eco crafting stations and the ship decor in one lovely room. And we have a vault, so everything that has been crafted, can I please access you? Thank you. Uh, is going to be dropped in here for easy access. We have a, a thousand uh, slots. That should make it easy to find stuff. And we can use just, you know, the transfer gun to put everything in there and then pull the, the resources back out. They go over here in this room, which is the crafting room, as in structural crafting. So we have the castles and keyboard in here, uh, the S plus table, eco saddle, because that actually has more structures than decor. Uh, we have a vault up here that holds all the items again including all the lights, because I think they are more crafting than they are decor. Uh, we have a bookshelf. I think I do have some stuff from drops, so yeah. And all the resources that were on the Bronto are now in this big vault. Why did I make a regular vault? Just because... Just, you know, just because. No, these... Um, what are they actually? 
uh, so lost, yeah, so lost craft vaults. They do seem to have some issues with the transfer gun. Transferring out of them is easy. Transferring into them, it always says zero items transferred, and that's exactly what it does. It doesn't happen with the S plus vault. So if I want to transfer resources relatively quickly from the Anki outside or something like that, uh, this is easier. Although, you know, they all have this lovely little icon where you can just select something and then say, Paul, give me. Everything we have is now in here. Yeah. Then, uh, going on further, I have my private vault over here. If I can ever access it. Oh, there you go. Uh, stuff I need on a regular basis, like the Trank Needler and put them back in, the needles, um, my harvesting equipment, transfer guns, weapons, all the stuff. I actually had that over here in this lovely barrel, which is now empty. I think we should just stick to the theme. We have those everywhere, so we might as well, right? Uh, feeding trough, that has everything in range. I mean, you can see that out there. If I switch the overlay back on, yep, clearance is in range. So is the Uteranus Terror. Are you? You should be. It's hard to see. Anyway, I will uh, check that later, but I'm pretty sure he ate earlier when I put stuff in there, so that's good. Then we have the armory over here, upgrade station, um, structure plus to vanilla and back converter. Where are you? The blueprint maker, which we don't need because we have that over there. Um, the tech rifle, the upgradable one, then we have the blacksmith over here, uh, which is making armor and, and some stuff. Uh, the no durability armor, yeah, that's all here in case you ever need it. And then we have the kitchen over here. I have no idea why I actually put down this grill. Just because I can, probably. <laughs> yes, water. Oh, perfect. Uh, I put down the cooking pot and the campfire because on occasion you do need them, especially when there's, uh, like, Valentine's Day or stuff like that. All those recipes are in the regular cooking pot, so you do need a cooking pot. I don't even know if the S plus one will work for that. But if you don't have one, well, there's nothing you can do. So, ooh, ah, oh, all the like. Uh, we have our smoker over here. Can I? I cannot access that. Okay. It's weird. And our fridge. And I renamed the fridge. And I renamed that vault to have a sword at the end. Because we do have these two over here. The vacuum sorters. One set for food, one set for resources, so whenever I beam over here with the teleporter, especially when I've been using the Bronto to collect berries or whatever, I just beam here, whack uh, the tail in that direction, they should both get hit, and then everything is transferred into those two storages. Uh, show range. Uh, come up. Ah, oh, come on. Yup, all the lag. You see, this is definitely completely in range, so we shouldn't have any issues of transferring stuff over. That is good. That is perfect. Now which one? It's you. Uh, off. Thank you. Call this lag. And lag is what we don't need because we have enough of it already. Hmm. Uh, okay, that leaves this room, right? Mm, right here. This is the second crafting room, which is more of a processing room, really. I mean, the SL bench is in here, which we don't need that often. There's no structures in there, really. Can I... What the hell? Turn off. Turn on. Nothing's working. <sighs> Am I losing connection again? Um, we have an issue with the server currently, so that, yeah. It looks like... The last four hours of fixing the network issues of our host haven't really worked. <laughs> At least we could report a couple minutes. So what I will do now is I will get outside and start decorating stuff, and then next time we will probably do the upstairs. Ah, see you whenever it is, it is fixed. And we're back here again, and it's done, and the server is running. So yeah, <laughs> we had two separate outages. One and planned one, and the other one possibly planned to fix all the remaining issues. Some sort of networking issue in uh, the, the German data center where Nitrado is hosting our server. So, it should be fine now. It's been running, nothing has been lost, the server didn't shut down or anything, we just couldn't connect. Um, yeah, looks good. So, 
as I said, place some greenery around the outside. Looking quite good. There's not much we can do here. I mean, these hatches do connect, um, but only to the square pieces. And as you can see, this is uh, this over here is not a 90 degree angle, so that's a triangle piece. If I wanted to connect one of these hatches, it would stick out and then go back in and stick out and go back in. That would look weird. I mean, that could be something and have separate little trees in those triangles that we produce that way. I, I might come back to that idea. This is supposed to be the road going through here. So I don't want to stick in too much there because try to go with a Bronto along here. You need some space. That's all I'm saying. I also use some eco crafting station. As you can see, they make some good decorations. Uh, so why wouldn't you want to do that, right? Scott came over and brought this. Hmm. We have a house cat. <laughs> it's more Jaboa than a cat, but you get the drift. So, yeah, that that is definitely something. Still needs to be colored. I got some Christmas lights up there. I mean, it's the season, right? Stuff over here. Yep, looking good. Big tree over here. With more green around it, so it doesn't stick out of just the rock face. And I think that came out rather nicely. Um, perfect placement. <laughs> That's the only intersecting with uh, the roof that happens over here, that little piece. Even all of this here, it's not sticking in. Except for, like, two leaves right on the top here. All the rest is looking good. Let's, let's get down there. You don't believe me if I don't show you, right? There. See? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. Now let's get inside. Inside there's not much decorating going on because, like I said, this is the actual crafting floor, so we already have the lights. They are all working, electricity is working, um, that's pretty much that. So I decorated the outside here a little, uh, put down some more lights, obviously, needs to look good uh, in the night. And couches, tons of couches, because this is where we are going to enjoy the view of Harbour Town. Yeah. Don't really need a bathroom, huh? If we have this right next to us. <laughs> now we're still going to get a bathroom, obviously. Uh, but that's all going to be upstairs. So let's have a quick look upstairs. Um, there. Ooh. Yeah, there's room here. There's lots of room here. So what do we need? We need a bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen, probably a planning area, some sort of an office. We can put down some more of the things that we haven't used that much, like the blueprint table and the map table. It's unfortunately no Ragnarok map table, but we have the others, like the center and the island, Scorched Earth. We might put those down, just, you know, for funsies. And fill this space up. Hmm. Maybe a party area somewhere, that would be cool. A little bar. Some kegs. We don't do kegs, we do barrels. It's German villa, for fuck's sake. Yeah! Alright! <laughs> well, that is it for today, folks. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. There's the crotch shot you've been waiting for. See you soon!